We are pleased and honored to have Michael Chertoff with us tonight. My name is John Wilson, and I'm a trustee of the World Affairs Council. Please join me in welcoming Michael Chertoff. In the area of cybersecurity, uh, the battlefield, as it were, is not uh, simply located either outside the country or in certain particular locations. The battlefield is in our houses because it is our networks that become the location for many of these cyber attacks to occur, either because the attacks are targeted on our own networks or because our, our machines and devices are being co-opted and hijacked to mount attacks against other people. So that a very um, unusual uh, role of the private sector in being on the front line of dealing with cybersecurity has made it, I think, difficult for us institutionally to, to consider what our roles and responsibilities should be. Or part of what you need to do to protect yourself is to look at the traffic flow, uh, inspect what's in the packets, uh, because that is often where you find the, the code, uh, the malicious code. Also look at where, you know, where the ISPs are that are generating it, what the behavior is, what the traffic flow is. And through that analysis, it is possible to see when you have uh, packs that you ought to put, put off to the side and take a closer look at. So technically, you can't really do cybersecurity without doing that kind of intensive analysis. The question is, who does the analysis? You know, there are companies that do this on their own or will do it for other companies as a service and as part of a comprehensive service where they'll run an operations center. Um, there is a, a pilot program now with a defense uh, industrial base where, without getting too much into the details, again, the ISPs, you know, work with the U.S. government to kind of assist in getting um, information that will be helpful if they conduct a review of the traffic that flows. The challenge is who decides when your traffic gets looked at. We generally operate now on a consent-based model. We live in a world, you know, when, when, when Orwell wrote 1984, his vision of Big Brother was the government. But we have Big Brother. Big Brother is us. Us. We're walking around now on the streets with videos and cell phones, taking pictures of each other and uploading them for all kinds of reasons, whether it's amusement, um, anger, insult, uh, curiosity. We're monitoring ourselves. So it is a little curious to ask where privacy is uh, in, in this age. That being said, um, on the area of the internet, I would say that you, I actually think that a big mistake we make is treat privacy and security as, as um, in, in uh, contradiction of each other. You cannot have privacy without security. When you talk to, to a bank or your doctor and you, uh, you know, expect that he or it or she are going to be able to keep what you've told them private, that rests on the assumption that they have the capability of doing it. If they don't protect their own assets, then that promise of privacy isn't worth anything. So what enables privacy is security. 